Hey everybody, it's Jenny in customer service at RNA Reset, and today I'm going to answer one of our most frequently asked questions, and that is, what form of magnesium should I take? And of course, I'm going to take my cues from Dr. Carolyn Dean, the author of The Magnesium Miracle. Dr. Dean is the world's leading expert on magnesium supplementation, and this international bestseller has taught people all over the world the benefits of magnesium. We're so glad everybody's learning about it. And on page 447, she goes over different forms of magnesium. I realized that I have only ever learned about magnesium from Dr. Dean, and so I don't have a lot of experience with different brands, and I thought, what a great way for us to learn together. And so today, we're going to try a pill, a powder, and a tablet. We're gonna try magnesium malate, we're going to try magnesium L3 and 8, and we're going to try magnesium citrate, and we're going to do it just you and me. So stay tuned as we have this experience together. Magnesium malate is the first thing we're going to try. And as I said, I don't have any experience with this product. I'm just going to demonstrate it in front of you, just like myself, full transparency, never having done this before. So let's see how this works. The label says that it's 1,000 milligrams of magnesium malate, but it's only 115 milligrams of magnesium. And as we know, magnesium malate is not fully absorbed at the cellular level, even after digestion. So probably only at the most, getting about 70% of that 115 milligrams. That's something to pay attention to. So as you can see, I've taken out a tablet and do you see how big this is? This is a honker, okay? I just, there's no other way to say it. This is a big tablet. And actually in order to get close to the RDA, which is about 300, 325, I have to take three of these, you guys, three of these. But I'm just gonna try to take one now. And as you can see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it right here. This is my intergumatory system or something like that. I'm not very good with medical terms, but this is my skin and it's an organ of the body. It's got cell, tissues, blood, and of course it's got cellular receptors for minerals right on it. And you can see that this is not really being well absorbed. Okay, let me try Dr. Dean's Picometer. Remag, the magnesium miracle, of course, uh, liquid magnesium chloride. And let's see what happens here. And now what we're gonna see is, oh my gosh, it goes right in you guys. It is absorbed right here. That is so cool. Okay, now for those who might be critical and say, well, that's not your stomach and it does require digestion and everything. And, and actually this is absorbed <laughs> right here but the magnesium malate mate, let's just do this. I'm gonna take it and I'm going to, I'm gonna smash it up. <laughs> and look, I'm going to take this out and you can see I crunched it up, kind of like digestion would start. I mean, no acids and stuff. Don't get technical on me. And you look at this, you can see this is not going into my skin any better either. So I'm not sure how well this one's gonna work for me this magnesium three and eight. A lot of customers ask about this because they did a study many years ago, said this is the only one that could go over the blood brain barrier. Well, it's not true. That's not what the study said. And it's simply not true. Of course, all magnesium crosses the blood brain barrier because you have mitochondria in your brain and they use ATP and ATP, eight steps of the Krebs cycle. You have to have magnesium. So of course, God or nature would never let only some magnesium go here, and then the rest isn't going up here. I mean, that's just silly, you guys. But look, I want to talk about this. This is 145 milligrams in three capsules. That means to get the RDA, I think I have to take one, two, three. I have to take like six of these things, you guys. Six to get the RDA. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the absorption of this product. And I gotta get this open, but look, I'm gonna do this. And where are we here? It's not absorbing very well. So I gotta have six of these. It's not very well absorbed. Again, Dr. Dean's liquid magnesium chloride remake, 60,000 parts per million. We'll talk about picometer another time. Look at that, it went right in. Now, the final one I want to talk about today is magnesium citrate. And I want to tell you why, because a lot of people really like this, and it's okay. I don't want to offend you, but I do want to say we have to look at its clarity, its 
absorption and the value that you really get from it, okay? A lot of times people take magnesium citrate in water. It does have a tendency to cause the laxative effect. Remag is clinically proven to not cause the laxative effect and that's clinically proven on humans, not on rats. And on this particular magnesium citrate, if you look at the label, you'll see 2,000 milligrams, you guys, that you have to use to get 300 milligrams of magnesium. That is only absorbed at 20%. And so as you can see, we put this together. <sighs> I don't know. You know, it's cloudy and it's got all this stuff swirling around at the bottom, which means I'm just going to get a big whack of chalk at the bottom of this by the time I'm done drinking it. But this is our Dr. Dean's Remag, and look at this. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at the purity and the clarity of this product. 60,000 part per million picometer Remag in a glass, in water. This is the RDA, fully absorbed, no laxative effect. You decide for yourself. What is the best magnesium? It's probably one that's highly absorbed. This is Jenny in customer service. Thanks for watching my video today. If you have any questions, post them below. Customer service will respond. Thank you.